To entertainment news, the need to teach the children about their roots was the focus of a cultural day organized by a school in Shongo Tedo area of Lagos. It was aimed at inculcating the values which many say have been eroded by civilization. The children turned out in many attires, representing each major group in Nigeria, to the delight of the parents. Nigeria has over 250 ethnic groups comprising of over 500 languages. These groups have varieties of traditions, foods, cultures, and dressings. However, three ethnic groups, Yoruba, Aosa, and Igbo, are dominant. But due to migration, civilization, and search for daily bread, many have been forced to leave their ancestral homes and settle in a foreign land, even within the country. Inter-ethnic marriages has resulted in the dominance of one tribe over the others, while children often learn little or nothing about their hometown and state of origin. This is one of the factors causing these traditions to go into extinct. This is one of the reasons this cultural day was organized, with a view to reviving these cultures and traditions. The Westerners, they are taking our culture from us. So we decided that our kids, we should catch them young and remind them that they should know where they are coming from. They should know our, the kind of food we eat in our country. They should know the kind of dress we dress, our costumes and all that. So that's why we decided to focus on our kids now. This video that we teach them about their culture, they are proud. They know that I am from Yoruba or Igbo or Calabar or Edo. They know they are different places they come from. For the parents, the program is very apt considering what the nation is going through. It is very important that from a very young age, from a very um, young background, that we should be able to inculcate these virtues in our children and also to remind them that they are not just people who are urban people, that they have their origins. And from these origins, there are a lot of traditions that actually make them to be better uh, persons. We have buried our culture. We have abandoned our culture for Western culture. And it is very, very important that we, we revive our culture so that our children who are coming up, you know, can, you know, get used to our culture. It is also the desire of many present here that schools, both public and private, will emulate this novel idea, which they say will go a long way in creating an awareness and consciousness among the growing young populace, as well as creating and sustaining unity in diversity.